How y'all doing? Oh. All right, no more of that, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you all for being here. Um, so, as many of you know, March Madness is upon us. Is like the annual NCAA tournament. So I thought as a fun little introductory segment here, I would go through each friar and tell you how each of us goes about filling out our respective brackets for the tournament. So we're going to start with the low voice parts and work ourselves up to the very top, to the T1s. So we're with the bases. We'll start with Ben. So Ben is pretty popular with them lady folk. Mm -hmm. um, so a few weeks ago, Ben made a deal with us that he would fill out an entire bracket for every girl that he went on a date with. Uh, this was not a smart deal to make for Ben uh, because as it so happens, for those of you keeping score at home, uh, Ben filled out enough brackets to cover every possible combination of choices <laughs> you can possibly make for the NSA tournament. That's two to the 63rd power, just about nine quintillion. <laughs> but don't worry, if you're a lady folk out there who's had uh, relations with Ben, he thinks each of you are very, very special. So, yeah. Uh, then going to Gabe. Uh, Gabe, Gabe is homeless. Um, it's sad but true. Yeah. So Gabe actually filled out a perfect bracket, perfect. But he needed a place to sleep and food to eat. So we traded it for the right to sleep on somebody's porch and a nice home-cooked meal from his favorite establishment, Panda Express. Uh, not a very smart deal. And coincidentally, uh, I fill out my bracket by just slipping a coin. I just do it randomly because the tournament seems to be so random. So I was doing this and Gabe heard the sound of loose change and came and mugged me and took my money. Uh, so I didn't finish my bracket, but such is life. Uh, moving on to Blugerman. Blugerman is what we call a hipster. So Blugerman is against picking any team that you've even heard of. So Blugerman's championship matchup is Norfolk State versus Lehigh, which before yesterday we were like, oh, you dummy, but he has the last lap because they're both on the tournament, and he has no idea what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> I don't even know what sport this is. <laughs> this, nope. That's true, he's not kidding. I'm not um, Next is the tenor twos. First we have Aaron. So Aaron loves monkeys. Just loves monkeys. And he doesn't vote for any team that doesn't have a, mas uh, a monkey for a mascot. And whenever that's not the case, he doesn't fill out a bracket. So this year there are no monkey mascots, so unfortunately no bracket for Aaron this year. Yeah. Uh, then b -Man. Uh I've said this statistic before, but I'm going to repeat myself because I think it's very important to know. Um, when you don't incorporate b -Math into the Friars, our average age is about 22. You factor b -Math in, it becomes 62. So b -Math actually records his bracket using a stone and chisel. <laughs> And it takes a long, long time. In fact, he's still filling out his bracket, but none of us have the heart to tell him that the tournament's already started. So don't tell him. Earmuffs, be math Earmuffs. Earmuffs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lastly, tenor ones. First, there's our music director, Mr. Brian Kendall. Uh, don't let his looks fool you. He's even younger than he appears. Um, so despite being a college graduate, he's very, very young at heart. So he took an interesting approach to his bracket. He just took crayons and colored a big old rainbow. <laughs> uh, it was very, very beautiful, but unfortunately, no points for you, Brian. I'm sorry. Uh, and lastly, we have Elliot. Uh, so Elliot is from Ohio. It's, uh, yeah, boo, Elliot. You stink, Elliot. No oh, applause allowed. So like being you. from Ohio, he happens to be of slightly, I don't know, under average intelligence. So he, he saw the bracket and didn't really understand the concept of like writing down one team you, th you thought would win. He just saw a bunch of names of sports teams and just filled out the rest of the bracket with other sports teams. <laughs> so his championship match is the Detroit Red Wings versus Muhammad Ali. <laughs> um, yeah. oh, 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 that's Pretty unfortunate, but creative. Give him creativity points. Um, and actually, Elliot sings this next solo, so give him a big old round of applause and welcome up here. Come on, Elliot. I 
been roaming around, always looking down at all I see. Painted faces fill the places I can't reach. You know that I could use somebody. You know that I could use somebody. Someone like you and how you know and how you speak. The countless lovers undercover of the street. You know that I could use somebody. You know that I could use somebody. Someone like you. Someone like you. Someone like you. Somebody. Someone like you. Somebody. Out in the night while you live it up, I'm off to sleep. Waging wars that shake the poet and the beat I hope it's gonna make you notice I hope it's gonna make you notice Someone like me Someone like me, somebody Someone like me, somebody Someone like you Someone like you Somebody Someone like you Somebody I've been roaming around Always looking down at all I see